ever wondered what a resort shirt is? Yeah, no, neither have I. I just posted this jacket on Instagram and one of the comments that came up was mentioning Hawaiian shirt. So I started looking up Hawaiian shirt and resort shirt kept coming up. I think they're the same thing. Anyway, I think this project is quite timely because this coming weekend I'm headed to the beach with my board game buddies. And I think I need a shirt to go with that. I'm also going to use this shirt as my template because it looks like it fits nicely. Minus the breasts. Does this ever happen to you too? He needs some milk! To me, Hawaiian shirt and resort shirt are synonymous to each other. It's like apples and oranges. Two fruits, just different names. Wait, that doesn't seem right. Hawaiian shirt is what the cool kids used to call it in the 90s. But I guess these days they now call it resort mm -hmm. shirt. Uh oh. Did I lose my pencil again? I can't find my pencil. I used my button-down shirt as a template, folded in half to trace out all of the pieces I needed. At this point, I'm thinking that I should start making general clothing patterns so that I don't have to keep doing this each time. But you guys know me. I almost always never have Yo. a plan for these things. It either works or it doesn't. Here's what I got. I got my back panel. I got my two front panels. I've got two pieces of my collar. And then I've got two yokes. I don't know what yokes are. I just heard say yokes on YouTube. And then these are the two sleeves. Now, I did cut out these strips that were meant to be used as interfacing for the front panel, but I sewed one on and it didn't look right to Ew. me, so I removed it and didn't end up using them. I took one of the yokes and placed it right sides facing each of the front panels and sewed them along the shoulders. I then took the second yoke and again, right sides facing each other, attached them to the other side of the front panels around the neckline, creating a circle when sewed together. For the collars, I set them right sides facing each other, sewed it across the three sides, leaving the bottom side open. I then flipped it and inside out and top stitched across the same three sides. To attach the collar, I find the center point of the back yoke, match it up with the center point of the collar, and pin those together. Then I line up the center point of the front yoke, line it up with the collar, repin it in place, and sew it down from one end to the other. I then make cuts along the curvature of the newly sewn piece to void bunching, and then sew together the sides of the front yoke to the sides of the back yoke on the inside of the shirt. Now that that's in place, time to attach the back of the shirt. We're going to leave the back yoke down at the bottom and then we're gonna flip the yoke here so this is the outward facing yoke this is the inside yoke and then with the back panel right sides facing the right side of this yoke just gonna pin it all across at this point i put my burrito rolling skills Where's to good use burrito? rolling up the back and sides panel and then folding up the back yoke to the front yoke pinning them together and then sewing it in place after unrolling the burrito i attached each of the sleeves to the shirt and sew it onto the shoulders then sewing the body in place starting at the armpit going down the sides of the body and then back at the armpit and sewing down the arm okay i'm super focused but also easily distracted and so i'm gonna put that on hold right now because i just got distracted and i started thinking i'm going to make swim shorts with these prints fun fact i'm very self-conscious of showing my body in public there's nothing wrong with it. I've just always been uncomfortable with being topless outdoors. Strange, huh? To make the swim shorts, I took a pair of swim trucks that I had and used it to trace the template for the two front panels and the two side panels. I then find the patterns I want for the back pockets and cut out a 7 inch by 8 inch piece for each of the cheeks. I went with a tiger in honor of Tiger King and a toucan as a shadow uh, to my trip know. in the Amazon rainforest. Here I sewed down the sides of the pocket. It's not perfect, but whatever. And top stitched it as well. Now the next thing to do is to attach it onto the back of the shorts and then stitching it straight through on three sides. So this is my front panel. These are my back panels and I'm going to line them up and I am simply going to go through this with a straight or a zigzag stitch, I should say, down one side and then down this side. Once they're sewn in place, I then take one leg, flip it inside out, stuff in the other leg, lining up the seams, and sew them going down on one side of the curve and up on the other. I then fold up the legs about an inch to create the hem and sew that in place. For the waistband, I take a strip of elastic, measure around my waist while giving the elastic a slight stretch, cut out the piece I need, sew it together, and then pin the four sides to the front, back, and sides of the shorts. Using the stretch technique that I used in the bomber jacket, I sew the waistbands to the top of the shorts, pulling and creating tension using a zigzag stitch, then folding the waistband down to the inside Side of the shorts, I then sew it in place with a straight stitch. I gotta go to Party City and pick up something because it takes us ride, right? So not what, quite what I was expecting. Um, I got someone hit me in my car, and I don't know where she is, but I'm here at the police station in the area, just reporting the incident and just trying to get this completed so I can carry on with my day. Oh, what a day. Because of the accident, I didn't really have much time left to complete the outfit. So I used the time that I had to fix the pockets and I left the button down shirt as it was. Because sometimes being done is better than being perfect.